Hi there! I got something awesome in the mail today. I got my February 2013 Starlux Starbox and this is my favorite beauty subscription service. It costs $15 a month plus a couple dollars shipping in the US. The shipping is super fast, much faster than any of my other subscriptions and I love it. It is by far my favorite. It has three to four full-size products every month, all makeup, all the time. Love it. You can't go wrong. This month is special. It is created by Lauren Clark and they even have a special box for that which I think is a fantastic touch. Very cute, very pink, love it. She's a photographer so she knows what she's doing as far as giving advice on makeup so I'm very happy to see what she has in store for us. These elastics my cat loves. I will just throw that over there for her. And this month was beautifully packaged as always with a little looks card that will give you some ideas and on the back there's also always tips on how to use the products which I appreciate because I don't always know what I'm doing. On the inside of the box it looks like we have four full size products this month that is always fantastic to see. The first product we have is the lip pencil in Tipsy. They did already include this color in the birthday box for 2012. I believe the 2013 birthday boxes are different and will not include this and they only had the birthday box program for the latter half of the year so not too many people will get doubles and this one actually does say special on it, the Lauren Clark, which I think is just a phenomenal touch. So I am excited to have this again even though I already have it. It looks like they give us some new ideas on how to use it so it will definitely go to good use. And next off, this is something I haven't tried before from them, this is their HD Fluid Blush. This is super exciting. I have already sneaked into this and I tried out a little bit of it. Look at that bright pink. You'd think it wouldn't be usable but I think it came out beautifully as a blush and a little went such a long way that I actually used it as an eyeshadow as well and I think that also turned out quite well. It felt very comfortable on the eyes. I will test it out and let you know if it creases and how long wearing it is and all that good stuff. I'll put that on my blog but Overall, so far, I am extremely excited about this product. I didn't even know it was coming. And next off, we have one of my favorite items from them. They have their um, pot eyeliners. And these gel liners, let me tell you, I'm terrible with eyeliners. And I was so excited with their last August box. It was their last curated box as well to receive their sculpture eyeliner gel. And I've had wonderful luck with it. So I am very excited, but look at this color. It is like Barbie doll pink. It's very interesting. I tried to use this. It didn't show up very well on the upper lash line, but I was putting it over pink blush, so what did I expect? It did fabulous things to my waterline on the bottom. I don't know if it reads very well on camera, but it did give my eyes a little bit of pop. It was fun. It's not so pink that it makes me look ill. Um, I really like it. The thing I would suggest is that you clean your eyeliner blush brush before using this. I did get a bunch of black in there even though I thought it was clean enough. It wasn't clean enough. Clean your brushes before double dipping people. It's the best way to go. You don't want to ruin any of your products, especially something nice and fun like this. And the last item in here is a lip gloss. I am a lip product junkie. I'm not usually a big fan of lip gloss, but the Starlux lip glosses are phenomenal. Their last one that I received was also in their August curated box, and it has been my favorite all-time lip gloss. This is in Pink Oasis, which is a strange name because it looks very purple to me. Even swatched out, it looks very purple. On the lips I can't tell because I put it over the tipsy lip liner which I put over my entire lip and I think that turned out beautifully but I can't tell if it looks purple on the lips yet or not. I will update that in my blog as well. Let me show you the swatches of this. This bright sucker here is the HD blush. I'm very excited about that. I think that's beautiful and that is just the tiniest drop I was able to squeeze out. It went on that clearly pigmented. And you can sheer it out. You don't have to have like, ah, on your cheeks. It just blends in nicely, sheerly. You can put the ah on your lids if you want it. I'm going to try it on my lips too. I haven't tried that yet, but that'll be a fun trick. Tipsy, 
Um, I do like the color of that. It's a little more orangey than the other pink and purple colors in this box, but I do like it very much, and that I put over my entire lip. Great success. Very, very comfortable, smooth, not drying. Like that very much. The lip gloss is gorgeous. Gorgeous! It's swatched very purple on my skin. Of course, everything's different on lips because lips are a different color. So I will be sure to let you know how that goes. And this bottom color here is the actual eyeliner swatched out. Um, I just wanted to give you an idea of the color. I know you wouldn't normally put that much of anything on. But look at all that pink. This is probably the girliest box I have ever gotten. I'm very excited for it. Um, overall, I am quite pleased. I got a lip gloss, full-sized, full-sized lip pencil. Full-size eyeliner, not only is that awesome, but it is the coolest color eyeliner I'll probably ever have. And uh, I will never run out of this. This is, this little tiny bit of this goes so far that it's just amazing. And it's a very, very pretty, pretty pink that you could use all year round. You cannot go wrong with that. Also included in this box, I would like to mention, are the little quartz crystals that they always include that you can collect to... They suggest putting your brushes in, but it would probably take 50 or 60 years to get enough of these to fill a cup to put your brushes in. I will certainly give it a try. I like these. I have been collecting them in a little jar, so we'll see if I ever get to a point where I can stack my brushes in it. I will be sure to let you know. <laughs> Well, it looks like that is it for my Starlux Star Box, another wonderful, wonderful box. If you got a Starlux Star Box, let me know what you thought of it below. And otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful evening, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!